Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? How you doing? It is probably like 10.35 or 10.30 something on a Monday night. We made it through Monday. Praise God. This is Monday. People say, oh, it's going to be a drab day. Monday is whatever you make it. Just like any other day, it's whatever you make it. If you keep saying it's going to be that way, then yes, that's, that's, that's how your day is going to be. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Speak life. Speak positive stuff into, the, into your um, atmosphere. Speak positive stuff out of your mouth and you'll have a successful day. Not only su is successful in finances, no, it's just successful all around successful. What if you have something that you have accomplished, that's success. If you wrote your goals down, that's success. Like I was saying in the video, a little short video I did on Facebook to this morning, talking about writing your goals down, writing your 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 um affirmations down and saying your affirmations and different things. Um People do okay. Soon as the begin, soon as January first hit, D December thirty first, they're going to be like, my New Year's resolution is, blah 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 blah. Every single year they do the same New Year's resolution. You're not going to be able to get into the gym. Those of us that go to the gym or have memberships. You're not going to be able to get into the gym because the gyms are going to be full. They they do the the uh, whatever you call it. They do membership um, promotions and different things. People get memberships and spending this spending the money and they're taking the money out of your account every every month for the memberships. But you don't even go. You don't even work out. Do you even work out? I'm talking to, I, I had a membership, I have a membership, I had my membership for a few years. I do go to the gym. I Do I go on a regular basis? No. Do I work out on a regular basis? No. But I do. I do work out. I'm not one of the ones that, that oh, my New Year's resolution is I'm going to lose 50 pounds and I'm going to eat right. The market is going to be full with people buying all of this um, uh, healthy stuff. All of the healthy foods and the market and the gyms is going to be full with all of the people in there trying to lose weight. You make the New Year's resolution and by February the 1st, you know, fell off the wagon. You know, fell off the wagon. Don't make New Year's resolutions. Plan and set goals. Set goals. Set attainable goals. Set goals. Don't set this, oh, this huge goal. Oh, my goodness, this huge goal. You're going to set this huge goal by um, by March the 1st. I'm going to have X, Y, Z. You can't set goals like that. I mean, you can set goals like that. But you have, once you set goals like that, you can't say, I want to make a lot of money. By, by, by June, I want to make, I want to have a lot of money. What are you doing? What are you doing to get to that making it to you making a lot of money what are your small goals what are your small steps that you're taking to reach that big goal there has to be small steps there has to be small goals to reach that there has to be something written down for you to say okay i need to 
make this. I need to do this. I need to, okay, let's say you want to go on a vacation. I'm going to Fiji in August of next year. So you got a plan, right? You got a plan to go to Fiji. You just can't get up one day unless you're a million, unless you have money like that. I'm not saying that. <laughs> unless you have money that you can just drop at the drop of a hat, just jump on a plane and go to Fiji, more power to you. God bless you. Me, on the other hand, I have to plan. I have to plan. I can't say in July that August I'm going to Fiji. I got to, not saying it ain't going to happen. It can't happen. I'm just saying you need to plan. Okay. I'm going to Fiji in August. So I need to find out how much the plane would be. First of all, how long is that flight? <laughs> how much it would be? The hotel? Where the hotel is? How much the hotel going to cost? I got to have spending money. You got to find all of these little things. How are we going to get around? Do I carry traveler's checks? Do they still do traveler's checks? I don't even know. But back in the day when you went away, you didn't carry cash. You carry traveler's check because easily you can, they're easily to be replaced or whatever. So um, traveler's checks, whatever, however you, you got to plan it out. The same thing with your goal. That huge goal, you got to plan it out. If you don't have the finances to jump in and do, like go to Fiji or buy that house, you must plan it. It has to be written down and you must read it every day. I want to buy a house by December of next year. If your credit is jacked up, that's number one. You got to get your credit together. You got to have money saved up. You got to talk to a realtor. It's steps that you have to do in order to buy a house. Unless, now I'm not talking to people that have money that can do that. But like, People like me that that has to that have to plan it, yeah, that's who I'm talking. That's who I'm speaking to. <laughs> that's who I'm speaking to. The ones that we have to plan it by December of next year. If your goal is to buy that house, then now is the time you start and you set those goals every month. At, you got a whole year. Every month, there should be something that you have accomplished towards that big goal, which is your house. Every month, there should be something accomplished. What am I going to do in December? December of this year, I'm going to go talk to somebody to get my, if your credit is jacked up, I'm going to go to talk to somebody to get my credit straight. Once you do that and you pay down whatever your whatever's on your credit, you pay that down, that's a goal. Yay. And once you reach, once you have accomplished that, that first goal, whatever, every goal that you have completed and you have accomplished that goal, you need to reward yourself with something so you can get on to the next one and keep going and keep going, keep going. Don't set these goals and be like, you know what? January, I'm buying a house. They, you're going to go to the um, realtor and they're going to, or the um, broker, the mortgage people, and they're going to run your credit and they're going to come back and say, ma'am, we can't help you. Yes, we believe God. We believe God. We know God is able. We know God can do all things. He can do anything. He wants to do everything. 
he wants. But the faith that you have, is, you got faith, but there are steps that you need to take to get to that goal. There are steps that you need to take. You can't say, I want this business, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and think it's going to fall out the sky. God is not going to open the sky up and drop down hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's not going to open up the sky. I'm not saying he can't. He's not going to open up the sky and say, bring that house down. That house is going to fall, come down out the sky, and it's going to go right into this magical, this, this lot that I want it, where I want this house. It's going to come down. It ain't going to do that. It's not. It's not. Yes, I have been one of the ones that just had faith. I have faith and I trust and believe God. I said, oh, I know this is going to happen. I'm going to get this house. I'm going to get that house. That's the house that I want. I wrote it down and I walked through the house and I was like, this is what I want. This is the house that's mine. I claimed that house. I walked around that house. I watched the house being built. I said, this is my house. I didn't care how much that house was. That was my house. But it wasn't my house. <laughs> I just knew that I was going to get that house. And I was waiting for God to manifest it and for it to come to me. And it wasn't my time to get that house. I was, a, I, I was like, man, I was upset a little, little bit. When I saw somebody moving into that house, I was like, that was my house. I didn't get the house because that wasn't my house. That wasn't my house. You could look at something and pray for something because of what we want. Not, and we don't ask God and say, is this what you have for me? If he says yes, you can take that to the bank. You're going to get it. If he doesn't answer or if he says no, stop trying. Stop trying. And sometimes we don't even ask God, is this for me? Because we already know the answer. We already know the answer. We don't ask because we want that thing anyway. And we don't want to hear him say, no, that's not for you. So we close our ears and we don't hear. We don't, we close our mouth and we don't ask. And then you get years down the line. And then you say, I should have asked. Because I know what he was going to say. No. No. I'm, I've, I've been there. I've been there. Wanted something so bad, I've been there. I'm not going to ask because I already know the answer. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? And when you grow up, and, and not grow up, when you learn, when you get that true relationship with God, not having a fling with him, have a true relationship, relationship with God you already know you already know you should already know that this is not for me this I, I and then and don't and stop don't even try to push it don't even push it and keep going for it because once you get it you're not going to be happy you'll be happy for a little while but then you'd be like, man, I should have just asked. Or even if, even if, even if God is nudging you and showing you and telling you and giving you dreams and all this stuff, and you don't listen. And whatever happens to you, whatever happens in that situation, whatever you get, you just deserve. I mean, not listen. You deserve it, or it is what it is. Then you have to deal with it. Because, I, like I said, when I talk about things, I talk. I'm talking from experience. 
talking from experience. So going back to talking about your goals, I have a book. It's called The Best Season Planner. This is what you need to get. Not this book, but you need to get a planner and start writing down. Start writing down. This is like a, a Sunday, it's a Sunday sermon. But I don't know if you can see. This is this is just it's like a uh um I think this was one of my um like a Christian planner or something. But you don't have to get, just get a planner. Just get a planner and write down, write down, write down your weekly, daily things that you want to do. Just write them, write them. Yeah, you have, a, some planners have a whole, some planners have, um, what, a 90 day. There's a 90 day planner out there. Get a planner, write down, please write down. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. You must say affirmations every day. You must speak things into existence. You must speak positive things over yourself and watch how your life will change. It will really change once you start speaking those things into existence. You got to speak it into existence and your life will change because I am a witness of it. I'm a witness of it. I'm not where I want to be far as my businesses and far as in life, but I'm getting there. I'm not staying stagnant. Get up. Stop procrastinating. Stop being lazy. Do research on whatever it is that you need to do. Do research. Research that product, research that whatever it is, whatever your dreams are, whatever your goal is, research it. Research that's how do you think people have been are so successful because they researched, they researched their product, whatever it is that they have in their mind to do that they want to do. They did research, they wasn't sitting up in front of the TV, it wasn't sitting up on the phone on Instagram or Facebook all the time. They wasn't doing that. They was on that computer researching in the wee, wee hours of the night. They may get some sleep and jump up. They got a thought. Something came to their mind while they were asleep or they dreamed. They jumped up, got on their computer, researched, researched, researched. That's what we got to do. So... I challenge you to get your planner. I cut my finger at work. I challenge you to get your year planner, a 90-day planner, and start writing down your goals. You are not too old. You are enough. You don't have to get try to get someone's else someone else's life you have your own i don't want nobody else's life i want my own i'm not going there out here trying to be like mary lou and rita <laughs> i'm not trying to go out there and be like that their life is too it's too much trouble trying to be somebody else I like who God made me. I like myself. I love myself. And I love who, who I'm developing into. Evolving. As my daughter's um, brand is, it's called Evolve. So uh, we are evolving. We have to. Get your planner. Get your planner. Get your plan. Okay? So that's it for tonight. I hope you all, I'm so tired. I hope you all have an awesome night. Until the next video, peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.